New York Mayor Eric Adams called the influx of immigrants a national crisis I don't see an end to. This show title Hyde Title NYC Schools opened to thousands new immigrant families the first day. School poses challenges for major cities dealing with an influx tens thousands immigrants. In New York, schools open to about 20,000 children who arrived with their parents seeking asylum. New York City Mayor Eric Adams said he sees no end to the ongoing immigration crisis, adding that it will destroy the country's most populous city. At Town Hall on Upper West Side Wednesday night, Democratic politician expressed seriousness of his concerns about steady flow of refugees entering city, calling them a financial burden and factor that has led to numerous budget cuts to city agencies. He ordered. The former police officer said 10,000 immigrants were arriving every month and the city had received no support over the national crisis. I've never had a problem in my life that I didn't see an end to. I don't see an end to this, Adams said. Political theater and daily struggle to survive inside the dire situation facing bust immigrants. Across U.S. we're all going to be affected by this, Adams said. The mayor added that at one point migrants had just arrived from Venezuela. But now people are entering from Ecuador, Mexico, Russia and parts of West Africa. He said every aspect of society in the city will be affected as the 12 billion deficit leads to budget cuts across all city services. Immigrant population in New York fills shelters nearly 60,000 immigrants are occupying beds in traditional shelters and more than 200 emergency centers in New York City. Nearly 20,000 immigrant children are expected to join New York City students returning to school. According city officials, asylum seekers have no choice but to wait in limbo to secure work permits, jobs and other building blocks before starting their new lives in the United States. According to Politico, city services have so far seen limited impact from budget cuts resulting mainly from eliminating unfilled positions and re-estimating health care spending. Despite receiving nearly $140 million in federal funding, New York City spent nearly $1.5 billion providing housing and services to immigrants last fiscal year. The city expects spending to rise to $4 billion this year. Opinion migrants brought across the border by bus are not just a migration crisis. Consider public health. Adams calls out President Biden for decompression strategy on August 9. Adams called on federal government to declare a state of emergency to properly address the crisis. At border, last week, Mayor said city's demands were not calculated in first place and called for a strategy to de-escalate pressure at border. On August 31, he held a rally in Lower Manhattan demanding that the White House expedite employment pathways for asylum seekers and extend temporary protected status. Let them work. Give them the opportunity to contribute. 